Now, John Key, Prime Minister, joins us now. Good morning, Prime Minister. Good morning, Corinne. Before we can get to the, the numbers, we had a yeah. big discussion this morning on poverty. Yes. Um, I just want to clarify something. They, the, group, the poverty action groups yeah. say that there is a 22% of the child population, if you like, is below the poverty line. Do you yeah. accept that figure? Uh, well, it's, it's not a perfect measurement, I don't think, and I haven't seen where they're basing their numbers, but the general number that's used is 200,000 children in New Zealand living in poverty. Now, it's poverty defined on a first world term. It wouldn't be poverty the way we might define it in India, for instance. But um, the other point that's worth remembering is we have about 12% of the working age population on a benefit, so it's 328,000 New Zealanders, and they're supporting 220,000 children. So if you do the match, we're not saying they're exclusively in welfare-based homes, but I think they're largely in welfare-based homes. <clears throat> so, I mean, the, the point about all of that is to say that it's important that welfare supports there for kids that need it, and obviously families, but it's also important, I think, you follow the course of action we're trying to follow, which is to move people off welfare and into work, simply because on a number of fronts, their economic, certainly on the economic um, front, they, they will do a sure. lot better, but also we think they'll get better health and social Charles outcomes. Watergrove says you need to raise the benefit by 10% to get them out of poverty. I mean, isn't that the responsibility of a government? I mean, to have 200,000 children in poverty, that must be a, a huge burden for you. I mean, how, how can you cope with that? Yeah, but there's a lot of ways of tackling. I don't think it's just as simple as saying, let's give out more benefit dollars. So we've insulated, for instance, 133,000 homes in New Zealand in the last um, two years. We have, in the weekend, announced we're going to insulate every state home in New Zealand that's not uh, insulated. Uh, we've dramatically in increased So is this a case of doing rates. other bits and not trusting, not trusting the parents? To well, if you give them more money? Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, I don't think necessarily throwing cash at In fact, that's the reason why we are going to have the payment card for 16, 17, 18-year-old young mums on the DPB. We think actually it's better to pay their rent, better to make sure that we put electricity in the house and, and the, it's warm, better to make sure that the money's there for food. I don't think just throwing money in. The other thing is there's got to always be an incentive to work versus welfare, and that's one of the risks. So the Child Poverty Action Group, for instance, want in-work tax credits that you get for working for families to be paid to beneficiary families, and that's a long-standing court case they've got. But the design of the system, which was actually in fairness done by Michael Cullen, was all really saying, well, if there's no gap there, why will a lot of people work? Some people just say it's not worth it. So, yeah, the balance is right at the moment? I think so, but we definitely, look, I don't want to see any New Zealand child in poverty. And one thing I'm absolutely committed to is making sure they get a decent education so they can choose their own life. Um, but I think the argument here has to be to move people out of welfare into work. OK, uh, Robin Malcolm, uh, outrageous fortune star, probably one of the most well-known uh, yep. actors in New Zealand, had a big swipe at you at the <clears> weekend. Your response to that? I mean, she's saying things like poverty, those types of things are a reason why you need to go. Uh, yeah, well, she was sticking to that, you know, I would probably dig the fight with the response, but given it was a fairly personal attack, I'll just leave it. OK, can read the interesting it thing is here, um, in a sense, she sort of did the Greens' dirty work for them, because yep. you could actually have to work with the Greens, yet <clears> uh, she was there at the conference having, having a big swipe. I mean, yep. how do you feel about potentially maybe needing to call on their support in some way, whether it's substantial yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I think it's important to understand if the Greens hold the balance of power, it'll be a Phil Goff Labour-led government, and I think they would be quite upfront about that. Um, they are socially quite a long way to the left, and economically, actually, they want to put a lot of costs on businesses and slow down the economy as well. Uh, so in that regard, they're m much more akin to, to Labour. Um, so, I've, you know, we've worked in the last three years. In fact, the home installation program I talked about, we worked in the cycle way, which I've got to say has had no airtime in the campaign, but it's doing very well. Um, we worked on them with that, but I, I think they are a natural The problem from for you is, though, is that you've got a problem with ACT, and we heard yeah. from uh, Don Brash on Friday on this program, yeah. and he said he'd like a stronger signal. Are you going to uh, front up with a, perhaps a stronger signal on Epsom? Yeah, look, maybe in, in due course. I mean, we've, we've had a good working relationship. So what relationship. does that mean, maybe in due course? So at the moment, they're on 1%, so you don't bother, and then uh, perhaps if they can get their vote up, you might. No, uh, we, we've got to make the call whether we're going to sit down and have a cup of tea with John Banks. Um, we may very well do that. That my main point there would be to say, look, at the end of the day, we're in the campaign on the campaign trail. And we're looking to maximise our party vote at the moment. Act will be doing the same. So we're united. All I can say is, in the last three years, people have got a chance to assess how we work, and we've worked, I think, very constructively.